Hi everybody, it's Terry Ryder from hotspotting.com.au I wanting to talk to you a little bit about what's, uh, what's really happening with uh, property prices around the country. If mainstream media did its job properly, properly, I wouldn't need to be doing this broadcast, but they seem incapable of reporting on prices in the Australian property market in a accurate, balanced and fair way. So I'll do my best to try and make some sense of what's actually happening according to the latest data. Contrary to the headlines you're reading about uh, property prices falling across the country and 12 months into a downturn, et cetera, et cetera. The latest data is just coming out from CoreLogic and uh, CoreLogic doesn't help matters by putting out fairly negative and simplistic and generalized press releases, which media tends to regurgitate without too much journalistic input. Um, what do the figures actually show? Well, first of all, as they always do, CoreLogic on its front page of its monthly report um, has the outcomes for the 14 major market jurisdictions in Australia. What do I mean by market jurisdiction? Well, each of the eight capital cities is a market jurisdiction, and then you have six major regional markets. Um, regional New South Wales is one, regional Victoria, regional Queensland, etc. So 14 major markets they cover what's happening with prices. In annual terms, nine of the 14 have prices that are higher than they were uh, 12 months ago. So only, only five of the markets are down. Um, unfortunately, Sydney is one of the ones that are down. And according to these figures, which differ from other research sources figures, but these figures have Sydney down quite a lot, and that drags down the national average. So the national average figure um, is a, a negative figure. It's a, it's a, it's a fall, and therefore, that uh, leads to the headlines talking about prices falling across Australia, which simply isn't true. If we look at just the capital cities, if we look at the housing market, according to the core logic figures, um, in annual terms, Brisbane is up a little, Adelaide's up a little, Hobart's up a lot, uh, Canberra's up, and even Darwin now is back in the black. So five of the eight capital cities in terms of the house price indexes compared to 12 months ago, are higher than they were a year ago. So five of the eight are up and three are down. And Sydney is one of the ones that are down, and it's down, according to this figure, by 7.5%. And that drags down the, the average for the combined, combined capital cities, which means it's a negative figure. Therefore, the headline's about prices falling. Uh, but in actual fact, the majority of markets, and including the, um, the combined regional index, it's also a positive. So... Most of the markets are actually rising, according to these figures, but um, Sydney is dragging down the average, creating a negative figure for the national situation. It's also interesting um, to look at what some of the other sources say, because they never agree. Um, you could get to figures from five different sources and you'd get um, five different numbers. And sometimes one source will say market is up and another source will say the same market is actually down. SQM Research today published its uh, latest figures, its, its weekly prices index. And um, it also has five of the eight capital cities in the positive in terms of where their prices are at compared to 12 months ago. Canberra's up a lot. Um, Brisbane's up a little. Hobart's up a lot. Melbourne is still up uh, compared to 12 months ago, according to this source, whereas CoreLogic has Melbourne down um, in annual terms, but SQM research says Melbourne pricing both for houses and apartments is still significantly higher than 12 months ago. Uh, Perth is about the same. Um, Adelaide's down a little. Their national average is, is, is a positive figure of 1.7%, whereas the core logic figure is a negative. So once again, it very much depends on whose figures you like in terms of where you see the markets at the moment. Um, media, for some reason, almost exclusively writes about the core logic figures. There must be some kind of commercial arrangement going on there because th these other equally credible, and I think more credible figures from SQM Research um, paint a slightly different picture, and particularly in terms of the national average, but it's not getting any coverage, so you're not likely to know about it. Um, so just turning to some of the headlines that have resulted from the publication of the price data this week, here's one. This is from News Limited, the biggest media organisation in the country, the one that publishes the Australian newspaper and many other major newspapers around the country. And the headline said, Brisbane's the only capital to grow last month, defying national decline. So what they're saying is that Brisbane is the only capital city that had an increase in prices in the last month. 
But in actual fact, when you look at the actual data on which this is based, that's not true. Um, four of the eight capital cities were up last month. How did they arrive at this headline? Well, what they've done, because media is relentlessly pursuing negative reports on the housing market at the moment for whatever reason and to create the negative uh, result out of what is largely fairly positive statistics what they've done is they've um, talked about the major capital cities Brisbane is the only one amongst the major capital cities so they're excluding Canberra Hobart and Darwin apparently they're not big enough to matter so they're excluded so that they can write this headline saying that Brisbane is the only major capital city uh, showing price growth in actual fact when you look at all the eight capital cities um, the three that they exclude are all up Darwin's up finally Canberra's still rising Hobart's still rising and Brisbane's up a little so a very dishonest uh, headline which they bent over backwards to create by excluding three of the eight capital cities as being inconsequential and of course completely ignoring regional markets right now most of the strongest rising markets in Australia regional markets but they get no attention at all from our major media that they apparently don't count either but according to this article news limited hobart uh, canberra and uh, darwin as capital cities don't matter as well so yeah it's a very kind of relentless one-sided portrayal of what's happening with prices but if you look at the figures um, dispassionately and analyze them properly what it tells us is that um, of the 14 major market jurisdictions around the country, nine of the 14 are up compared to 12 months ago in terms of their pricing. So overall, I think that's um, considering all the circumstances in the background, like the Banking Royal Commission and, um, and the negative media, I think it's a, a positive outcome for prices. There's still plenty of rising markets uh, around Australia for, for investors who are looking for the the next place to buy for future growth. Um, so don't be put off by the negative and dishonest headlines. Uh, a little bit later on tonight, I'll be doing my weekly hotspot of the week. So stay tuned for that. That'll be on 7.30 in the Eastern States, so 7 o'clock in South Australia, and I guess 5.30 in Western Australia. So talk to you again really soon. That's it for now.